I like being at school on Fridays. Because you get your food bag on Fridays? Yeah. And then what do you have over the weekend? And then I have something yummy. Nobody should go hungry, certainly not children. This is something we should be doing. Oh, the program is amazing. So this is a hands-on program, the kind that we really like to do. I read an article about a woman who realized in her small community that there were children that just didn't have enough food to eat. They didn't have food to eat, mostly on the weekends, because they could eat some lunch or breakfast at the school Monday through Friday. So I thought, hmm, I, I bet I could do that in Reading. I bet there's a need. I had been doing this for about nine years, and Kathy Mullane from one of the Rotaries came to me and said, I'm, I'm gonna try and get a grant. I said, well, we're gonna raise some money for you. And so she came and she talked to us about what she had done for the last nine years and how that worked and who her contact people were, and we took it from there. 18% of the population in Shasta County lives below the poverty line. They know they can at least come to school and have two meals, they know that but sometimes they don't know where their next meal's coming from on the weekend. You know, they call that food insecurity, where you, you have food and then you don't have food and you're not really sure if you're gonna have food later. To worry about where your next meal is gonna come from must be kind of scary. Kathy Mullane sent out a, an email that said, hey, could we get some more volunteers to help us deliver bags? to the schools with the food in them. And I said, that is right up my alley. We are just about to embark on deliveries of food to three different schools. The Prairie, Juniper, and Manzanita. You go out and buy different things like oatmeal. Uh, macaroni and cheese and... Peanut butter. A lot of spaghetti noodles and sauce for the kids. Snack bars. Cheese and crackers and that sort of thing. Things that are not perishable. Oh, is that nice? The Franz Bakery outlet here in Reading, such a godsend. By their generosity, we're also able to put one of those big loaves of bread that they slice really thinly so that they have as much bread as possible for their family. If you talk to some of the other Rotarians, everybody always puts in a treat from their own pocket. At Christmas, I added some extra things in there. And then the school administrator said, oh, they really like that. Are we doing anything for Easter? Final stop at Juniper School. And we appreciate having these uh, delivered from the Reading Rotary, the food bags. Usually they're excited to see the bag and they know at the end of the day they get to take that home to their family. There's some families who are like, no, thank you, we don't need this. But then when they realized what we were trying to accomplish, which was to help them have some additional food over the weekend and, and just to give them an opportunity to have their kids come back to school healthy and happy and ready to learn, they, they were very happy about it. We have had about 20 families who have been receiving food for the last few years. What I see is families that show up on Fridays. Some of them are crying because they know they need the help and they're so thankful for getting it. It makes me feel good knowing that we're able to help those kids and their siblings have food for the weekend. This makes you feel like you're helping at a different level, right? Like if this is what they get to have when they go home and they get to bring something there and they can share it with their families. We've identified you know, who the children are that need this food, and we have the wherewithal to get it directly to them and have a real impact in their life. Food for Thought in the old days was like food for your soul. It is implicit with giving back to your community, and that is the reason for Food for Thought. What should we tell the people that make this possible for us? Thank you.